Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Techless playthrough. Uh, just so you are aware, this is a pre-recorded playthrough, guys, because uh, my internet went down a few days ago uh, at this point, because I'm currently in the process of moving, uh, due to time frames and delays, basically I've ended up with a period of time without internet. This should be being dropped on I Friday when I'm you. actually moving, so right now as you're watching Honorable this, I am and true. Well, I'm probably still... No, I'll just have finished work and be on my way to actually start moving stuff, hopefully. Bar any further delays. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, anyway, straight back in here. We are getting our Lord of the Phoenix Antheus buffed up again. Tower. You can uh, head in to join him, actually, still. And we are building up our forces Destroy for the attack them. here. Kill them. Ooh, we've got six. Good, good, good. Let's do this. Steady hand is needed. That should give us six siege towers, because each siege tower is two siege towers. Um, so we've got a lot of ranged fire to put onto the wall here to support us in the, in our push before we hit the wall, and then we'll have obviously our troops to go and take that wall. The, the aim here is not necessarily to charge through into their city; it's to take the wall and try and you know inflict as much damage as we can get onto that wall then force a hole force up a gap so we can get our archers onto the wall afterwards it shall be done definitely having guards. these guys we will obey swordmaster of power for duty Love and seek art. It will be done. I mean, they're not going to sally out, but just in case, we'll have a nice mixed. As you say, noble eagle claw. Let's take a gamble on that magic. Cause 13's a little low. <laughs> We will obey. That's hit there, because that's the least distance. We will obey. We can all move Four. forwards, that's a little bouncy. Um, you can aim for them to start with, please. And you guys can all move forwards as well. I am ready. I concur. For duty. A little bit further to bring us all into range. We're just going to let them pepper all along to start with. Okay, a little bit further. We're not quite in range yet, actually, apparently. Techless. How powerful that was. Spearman. For duty. For it back. Acknowledged. Setting forth. Quickly now. A pace. Techless. Their end is nigh. That's not actually necessarily useful for us. Yeah, 
yeah, I, I completely not, no, not never realised how powerful, how ridiculously powerful that was. Love and Seagull. It was just a it little. Will be done. Spearman. About to get in range there. In fact, we're going to keep you on that fire to start with. For duty. Right, all of you guys down in there. Let's drop this here, because that is a, a very powerful explosion. Oh, I can't. It has to go on a wall. Oh, that's annoying. Because I definitely don't want to be using it now, because that would be suicide. Without fail. Again, you guys can chase in. Swordmasters are taking far too much damage there. As you say. Quickly now. Now we do it. We kind of hit that bit of wall. Weapons ready. I want my sword masters to get out of there. To be fair. Assyrian willing. Attack. Seal. Sinner to our ancestors. We've got this, I just don't want to waste this unit. Get out of there, break out. Why are these guys just faffing? We must retire. Why are they withdrawing this way? No 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 we no, go. no no Loyal Asua advance! No need to damage them. Love and seek God. We go. Elspry. It shall be done. By Alario. Not gonna 
for them now, we're shooting at them, they're already taking a lot of damage. Or some of their units have. Battering them, good, you are actually fleeing the city now. Yes! We are running low on arrows here. That is our biggest issue. But, I mean... Nathan K, there's a lot of dead high elves up here as well, to be fair. I'm saying I made them pay. This hasn't been a glorious victory, but at the same time, it's not been a terrible defeat, so... It's an acceptable defeat. So he's done it again. At this point, I'm kind of using my archers. I mean, they're, they're not great, but they are, you know, they're men. They're, 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 they're boots on the ground in the, at the end of the day. Double time it from here because this is. I think that's the end of them as well. I think that is the end of that particular fawn in my side. The downside is I am now surrounded by vampire pirates um, who don't particularly like me. So we are still, you know, we, we need to save Lustria basically at this point, guys. Um, my Swordmasters, while, I mean, they have been with me from the start and they have been through some scrapes and they have re-recruited to their ranks and, I mean, they are doing so well. Uh, so I, 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 want, I don't want to lose that unit. Somebody wants that unit naming. Something suitably epic, which will guarantee it will die. I foresaw this victory. Spoils for Ulswan. Mark woke up. Mark Unfortunately, they're rebels, and they may be about to come straight and attack us, but we do have walls, so... Hmm... I need to buff up my army. Uh, at least a bit. Others sing their praises. Yesh can build up himself, because I want to make your Lord Yesh reasonably powerful so he doesn't just surrender. What would you ask of the Asa? Unwise. Come on, you know you want to. I think not. Ah. I'm going to give him a gift. I bid you welcome, traveller. What would you wish to discuss? I will see to it. I mean, they're already shooting up, but a couple more gifts will help. I speak for the Phoenix King, I mean, and I bid you join this turn.
Most astute. What request would you we'll make of the Phoenix the King? Unwise. Ah, oh, see when it, we eventually we will get them to do it, but it's gonna take us a while. We are now literally surrounded by vampire pirates. Oh god. When we're at war up with these guys again. Mm. The city is rank with corruption. Remove corruption or what we really want. Save our cash. You must he says while looking at other things. Anybody else to trade with yet? Madam, I approach the Madame Captain. Yes. I think oh. not. Yes, it's the extra agreement capacity. I know I said I was saving, but upping that guy, upping Yesh is very good, because Yesh I can make it to a very How solid dare lord you seek me out. who can do his own things. Hmm. That's interesting. Ah, too greedy. Let's be honest, they're not a threat. I will offer them one for 600, though, just so I can ignore Don't waste that. your breath. Your words cannot move. No. Diaphin is definitely my next target to get this second gold mine will be very beneficial for me and I don't like her being down here I want to get that entire region um, corruption is going to be my constant bane down here and dealing with that corruption is going to be painful now there is one other option I do have if I do confederate these guys I could put together an army and go for Marathi's capital which would be a hard push but at the same time, if I go through Arnheim and take, push up to her capital. Ooh. Yeah. I've got to fight this. This is not going to be a fun fight, guys. At all. Fortunately, they do have good stuff to hit the walls. Ooh. Oh, of course, we don't hit the walls. The settlement got reduced. This is gonna be painful, to be fair. Um, I may not come out on top of this. I can get peace with them. Uh, I kind of wish I'd fallen back out of the city. Understood. Loven Seagar. For duty. It will be done. Doing this Order slightly received. differently, winning two lines there. Swordmaster of Poem. Noble Spearman. Understood. Northern Seaguard. Acknowledged. Techless. Scython, hear me. Loving Seagar. They are a threat. Loyal. None can comprehend my power. Hear me! Robin is 
I missed. Oh no, who oh, did they stop just to let me hit? Right, focus five of Crocs is down first. They need to die. As one for our ancestors. Loyal. It will be done. It shall be done. Robin Seagar. For duty. Get into them. Archers. These guys can pull back. Swiftly. Northern Sea Guard. You guys can all focus them. You guys can pull out of it. Hitting there off the Croxies. Let's Techless. get some spells out. Fear my words. Get Louis, Louis. Fear my words. To battle. Sinner. Eagle Claw. A pace. As you say, we advance. It shall be done. For duty. Right, focus by this side next. Kill them. Get your butts A back, Syrian please. You can pull back. March. Without fail. We advance. Slam into the side there, please. It is risky, I know, but what is life without risk? Turn and hit them quickly. All of you guys, turn and hit them. We will obey for order. Come on, hold the line. That's it, all of my archers back in. Oh, hit those Croxies. Do not let those Croxies hit us. One volley should break them. For duty. Quickly now. Northern Seaguard. It will be done. Let's hit that unit. Tremble before me. Getting a little low, but we're doing nice damage in here with our spells. Without fail, Robin Seagull. Come on, this is close. A few more breaks. I've not hit their skinks at all, which has probably been a. Let you know they're not doing too much damage. Skinks are not the best, to be fair. Making Let's pull Teclas out. Let's drop another AoE spell down on here. Fear my words. A flock of doom. It's just nice constant damage to things. My it's word. not too expensive a spell either. I mean, Teclas is well, he's not a huge amount of kills, but he's probably got a fairly decent amount of damage. Straight into those Sora shields, please. Orders received. You two can pull out. And now, even if they do break through, we're, we're nice and spread. Which actually gives us a fair bit of protection. Because if they push out, they can only really hit one unit at a time. Running a little low on ammo. You can you can just be sat behind just to keep them busy if they do break out. A pace. Eagle claw. My eagle claw is doing nice things to those skinks. This is over. Ooh. 
My line did its job, it held the line. Maybe I had my archers too close to start with, but this lovely little arc we've got here now is, is good. I'm sorry, it's a... You came and attacked me. If you'd gone and attacked the others, I'd have let you live, but... In fact, I'd have quite liked you to go and attack the others. See, I commented on the Swordmasters and I lost them. God damn. Your conquest strikes oh, fear good. into the hearts of your enemies, mighty lord. The wisest amongst them will know that fate is on your side. I have foreseen it. There is no limit to my power. Master of the God White Tower. A dignified visitor, such a rare treat, misguided. Come on. Oot. Now, 10k was potentially a little much to pay for it, but it gives me a get at an escape route, basically. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Oh wow, what, what on earth? Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Protector of Old Swan. And a lot more income. We do have to deal with this for a while, though. Lady of the Phoenix Court. We have shaped this world. Nice. We can actually build some quite good units here. Your instructions. Entering you the can city. Pull back to white fire at all. I'm definitely not not taxing there. Oh, actually. Oh, it's because I've got there selected. No, it doesn't make a huge difference not taxing there. Oddly. Oh yeah, because we don't get money from them, but we get trade. So that's actually just upped my trade income massively. So I'm going to take the tax off there. We are going to build this army up a little bit next, starting next turn. But um, I probably shouldn't have got rid of the entire other army. But trade buffs and trade buffs. And trade buffs. That the main point of that I know I'm gonna have some issues because of that guys. But the main Yes. I will do that simply just to give you a bit more sway up here. The main purpose behind that guys was simply to get me a bolt hole if it all goes wrong down here. And we've got a good chunk of income coming there and we can slowly confederate our way around off um which will be very very beneficial for us but it is gonna hurt for a while public order wise so while we're dealing with that we're probably not gonna be doing much in the way of expanding anyway
this is probably my next big target. Like I said, if I do get here, that'll give us a lot of income with the gold, and we could potentially look at opening up a second front somewhere. Oh, God damn. Damn it, why didn't I go and chase them? We're gonna have to fight this one. This is not necessarily gonna be a fun fight, but yes, you can always come in and mop up. Um, should I say that? We've got lots of archers here. This is going to be a very similar sort of fight to last time. We have a very big lack of anything melee, but our Loth and Seaguard are perfectly capable here. Orders received! Loyal for duty, noble lord, spearmen. Make of one proud. So they're going to go around there. Normal line, we're gonna do multiple. Understood. We're gonna do in depth again, guys. As you say, it shall be done. It will be done without fail. Without fail. It shall be done. We will obey. Unfortunately, this time we have quite a lot more archers. It shall be done. Eagle claw to the fray. Right, every archer onto these cold ones here, then we'll switch to the others. Hit this unit of cold ones now. They are going to hit some of us, but not too hard. You can slam into those chameleon skinks, please. Illyrian archers for Assyria. And with all this range, we're just shredding them, which is good. For duty. And not too many of them are escaping, which is Kill also them. good. Everything onto those Groxies now. Not even being subtle there anymore. You can drop that. Don't want to be doing too much damage to my own troops. We're going to double time the rest of this battle. Hit that Lord. Do not let him escape. Yeah, let's pull everything off. Our range do that. I know this isn't an AoE spell, but it still does damage. Again, I'm sorry, it's a, uh, but I want. I'd have liked you to come back, but not in my territory. 
you'd come back in the, the drowns territory, that would have been fine. So the only thing which really did much damage was the Necroxes there, which was to be expected. Um, this army, Teclas, has come through quite a tough campaign here to ha and then had to deal with those rebels right at the end, which again isn't ideal, but my loyalty is rewarded. Ooh. Born to lead. Onward then. There is no limit to my power. Honorable and true. For now, you can be broken out and start Moving going and out. playing with these guys. Definitely don't need that anymore. Let's start working on walls up there. Oh, port, port, that's a huge buff for us. No, walls are more important. Speak your mind. I await your orders. Anyway, guys, we are over time now, so we're going to end that there. We are not doing badly. We've got you know our, our little settlement here, our colony up here in North One. Now, where we managed to uh, persuade these guys Can to I join us, assistance? I do want to build up a bit here. I'm just going to throw some throwaway units in here. I know I got rid of an army. It was just to to get things going. Um, so, you know, this is just to try and stabilise up here for now. Uh, but uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comments section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description as well as links to my Twitter, uh, my Patreon and my affiliations with Overclockers and Fanatical Games. Um, so please check them out. As always, if you have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.